But he said, you can have all the money you want. You can have everything in this world you want. But if you don't, ain't been washed in the blood of the Lamb, you, you're Lord. lost without God. That's right. That's Lord, good. Amen. I'll tell you, I, I sit there and enjoy that. And he said, there be, uh, uh, in verse 20, be ye beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Amen. You know, see, a lot of people know what the Holy Ghost is. I'm going to tell you what it is. Jesus sent it back here for us. He died for it for us. Amen. 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 The Holy Ghost of God. And one thing I really like to look at the Holy Ghost, and I don't get mad at because I believe a little different than everybody else, but bless God, I like the Holy Ghost because it scared the devil out of me that night and saved me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You say, preacher, what are you talking about? I'm talking about you scared to go out the door. What did Jim say? Amen. You're afraid to go to the altar, and you went to the altar just because the preacher to get it off of your back. I know I've been there. But thank God I'm glad I got Jesus off of my back and in my heart. Amen. 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 And he said, now let me tell you something. How much faith did you got? You got faith enough to pray that God can do things. You know, I want to say this, and I ain't going to say no more now. Talking about my nephew up down in the hospital. I love him dearly. Good preacher. And I'm sitting in the parking lot at Walmart. Louise went in. Yes, went in. The voice of God spoke to me. Now, a lot of you don't believe this, but I can't help what you believe. I know him when he talks. Lucy, I know him when he speaks. And the Spirit of God spoke to me and said, she's driving a hundred and some miles every day. Don't think you ought to help a little on gas and make the food. I sat there and I said, well, Lord, they're calling me their needs. The more I'll tell you, the more I tried to get out of it, the worse I got into it. Well, ain't you ever been there? The more I tried to get out of it, the more I got into it. So I just picked up my phone there in the car and called. My daughter told her to call her and tell her to come by. And God had told me to give her some money to buy some days or something. Amen. You know what? Amen. She says, as far as money, we're all right right now. But when somebody says, God said to give it to me, I'll take it. Come on now, listen. Amen. Have you ever heard people say this, Lance, and you're a minister, and him and you are walking, and all you folks in here, people look at you, I don't accept charity. You know what charity is? L-O-V-E. Amen. 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 So one time come for yesterday evening, uh, Lord spoke to Brother Tim, he gave me something. I put an in bells, and she said she wanted to thank us. And she I called she called the other day, I'm just talking straight out. She called the other day. Deb, she's crying. I said, What's the matter, Kathy? She said, I'm about to have a nervous breakdown. I said, Hold it. I ain't done with talking to God about this. Well, a lot of people say, I ain't got time. Amen. Sister back there knows what I'm talking about. When Rita's husband was sick, the preacher didn't have time to be her pastor. I ain't got time, but I took time, and I wasn't her pastor, but I was her preacher then, yeah. as far as I was concerned. I went out and read him some Bible and sung him a song and tickled him to death. He's dead in glory now. I think too she had in glory. And Brother Jeffs, I ain't going to say he's on his way to glory, but he, <laughs> he's here and ready to go when Jesus comes, amen. Why do you say, preacher, why do you mention that? Well, listen, don't worry about them that's in the grave. You can't help them. You can't bring them back. Come on, amen. You can't make them do this or do that. Like when Kennedy got killed, they always said, we're going to, the Catholics are going to pray his arm and leg out of hell. I said, if it's in hell, it's still there. Amen. 
You ain't praying nobody out of here. Just hoping that, that you ain't there. Amen. Amen. Well, the Bible says, what we should we do, preacher? He said in verse 21, Keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. Amen. Last you be surprised, people, that says they're Christian, don't believe in eternal security. Right? What security? Savior's power, keeping power. He can't drop you, he can't lose you. I, mean, I don't care what you think. When Jesus Christ comes in, <laughs> amen, he's there. And if you do any wrong, you've got a lot of repentance to do. There you go. Amen. But I'm glad, thank God, I'm repenting every day. Amen. Amen. I asked the Lord, Lord, if there's anything I've said or done, I did this morning driving down the road at 6.30. I asked the Lord, if I've done anything, I'm sorry. If I've said anything, well, I'm pretty sure you ought to went to the store, so I went to the right source. Amen. 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 You know why that people say, well, I don't know so much about so and so. Like the uh, preacher said this morning, David uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah. He said, if you get out here and throw it off on somebody all the time and kick and knock them down, you become a servant of the devil instead of the gun. Tim Smith will tell you that hard, amen, last little old Jerry David is preaching. He's a good preacher. Yep. But he said, now listen, in verse 22, and of some have compassion making a difference. I don't know how much it'll help the girl or what little I was able to man the room to help her. But I guarantee you God will take it and they'll make a difference. Come on, amen. amen. Make a, you know what it's all about? Making a difference. Amen. Brother, you, like your wife went to the hospital and God brought her back there. He made a difference. Give her two pints of blood and uh, Helen said she got white in heaven. <laughs> so Helen, she said she's come back to her. Good. I don't know what color I'll be and I'll leave here, but I'll tell you one thing. I know what color my heart is. It's white and snow. Amen. Come on, you ever read that in the Bible, folks? Jesus will save you and make you whiter than snow, Amen. 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 You know how pretty white it is? You're wider than that in your heart, you know, the Lord. Amen. Amen. That's good. Amen. And I was thinking about that boat that got to lay over on the side, and I said, how many died? He know, I know. And I told Louise, I said, you know, I'm not critical, but I wonder how many of them wasn't ready to meet God. Mm. Even on the Titanic, there's a cussing and drinking, and the boat going down. Louis said I'd be on my knees somewhere or crying as hard as I could. Lord, forgive me. Amen. Amen. And others saved with tears pulling them out of the fire. Woo! Amen. Amen. Stephen, I'm glad I've been pulled up. I want to say something right there that happened. When I worked at Drexel Flame 1 Drexel, I preached on Friday at dinner downstairs. And I wasn't the only one, Harold Knuck and Jay Griffin and several others. We had preached down there, and this fellow was standing over from me. <coughs> was a little kin to me, but he was one of them that hit you in the head with a post in a minute. No devil told me, said, now, you better watch him. He'll kill you for preaching. I said, a good day to die. <laughs> And when I got down preaching, made five minutes, and then safety, here he come. Tears ran down his face. He said, Preacher, I want to shake your hand. Wednesday night, I went to Ed Downs Church up on Sunday, and the Lord reached out over the fire and hell and all, and over a quick sand, and a limb was ready to break, and he got me with a hand. And brought me up and saved my soul. I say, glory to yeah. God. Amen. Amen. Woo! So don't listen to the devil when he tells somebody to kill you. You're a Christian. 
You're going to live forever and ever eternal life after that. Amen. Life. There you go. <laughs> Amen. Now, in verse 24, now to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of the glory of exceedingly joy. I know about you folks, but when I get to heaven and walk over, a lot of people said, give mother my crown. Now my mother got her crown. I want to give it to Jesus. Amen. I want to give it to the man. I believe everybody went to heaven, laid it at his feet, Amen. and said, there, Master, thank you for dying for me. Amen. I know that's hey, right. Amen. I was telling Louise yesterday, and I don't want her, she heard me or not, but they talk about Leroy, and I said, well, he may not have happened a few days, but he had a good mom and a good daddy. He went on. Wouldn't it be something to say, well, Leroy, it's good to see you. Welcome home, my boy. Amen. Amen. Woo! Come on, church. Got to get something. Amen. Oh, I feel Amen. like running. Somebody don't want to Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God. He says, exceedingly joy. Do you count it a heartache to serve God? Uh -huh. A lot of people say, well, preacher, you just don't know what I've been through. Well, I'm going to let me say something like that. Jesus said, I've been there for you are. Amen. Jesus said, I was beat. I give vinegar for water. I was done all this to. And all you've got is not now what I've been through that you can have eternal life. Amen. Oh, that's enough to make a back to shout. There you go. Amen. Amen. Well, preacher, I don't feel like saying that. Boy, you can holler when the ball game comes on. <laughs> oh, you really holler. Come on! Jeff Gordon, make that another run. Let's get this thing won. But Jeff Gordon didn't save you. Right. And Jeff Gordon ain't going to take you to heaven. There you go. So I ain't just going off on stuff. I'm just talking about people love the world more than they love God. Right. I don't care who you are or where you come from. You better get your mind on God because he's the one might be the next up here in person. Amen. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, Stephen, he's coming, ain't he? Amen. Amen. He said, I'll be back. Read a thing, that song. I'll be back. <coughs> Thank God, he'll be back. Amen. Amen. Listen to what he said in verse 25. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty and dominion and power both now and forever. And it's so good that it said, Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You know what that man means? Not like having some brother down yonder have some good old beetle dogs running rabbits. Woo! <laughs> That's what that oh, man means to a preacher when you holler, Amen. Woo! <laughs> preach it, Amen. <laughs> That's good. Well, well, well. I see a smile or two, and I see some awful bad dreams. So <laughs> we're getting that. Both now and for ever, brother Steve, forever. Amen. Amen. I ain't gonna. I'm gonna die, brother Steve, and I ain't gonna die no more. Gonna die no more. I gonna die. Gonna live forever. Still, you're a dead corpse according to the devil because you belong to God. You're alive in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Amen. And like a, a person called me long distance here the other day, talking about a patient. I said, well, my, 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 I turn over to Hebrews chapter 5 and read it. You know, that is that patient. Yeah. And when you get born again and washed in the blood, God gives you patience to overcome your tribulation, overcome your trials. Hey, come on, I'm a right land. He gives you enough patience. The sort of rolling them out and cussing them out and say, Well, Lord bless them. How many of you get mad when somebody says you're wrong and you start cussing? Boy, I'm so glad that God got a hold of me because that old cussing factor inside of me was bad news when I was young. But God saved me and said the church get out of there. Put a sign over my heart, sister. He said, no trespassing devil, this belongs to me. 
Who do you belong to today? Amen. Mm -hmm. You don't belong to him, you belong to the devil. Uh -huh. That's the reason they got that old that song that comes out, and I like it pretty good. Satan tried to tell me that I fought. I got saved. He tells me what a fool I have been. But when my mind goes back to that old place where I pray, I know that I've been born again. Thank you, Lord. Born again. Sanctified. Filled with the Holy Spirit of God. Amen. God's good to us. Oh, God. Well, uh, amen. Let's all come and pray and hope you have a good week.